for our next video, imagine, if you will, that to vote in England, you needed to do a literacy test. Now, some people will know where I'm going with this, I bet. In a moment, I'm going to show you the literacy test that was used during the Jim Crow era for black people in Louisiana. And we're going to work through the questions. And it's a mind-boggling test. It really is. Let me share it. This test is to liter state of Louisiana literacy test. This test is to be given to anyone who cannot prove a fifth grade education. Do what you are told to do in each statement. Nothing more, nothing less. You can see already how wonderfully condescending it's getting. Be careful as one wrong answer donates failure of the test. Anyone done a test like that? In, I don't know, on your exams at university or college where one wrong answer is, and you've screwed the whole test up? Normally, you have to fail quite a bit of them, or fail at least four or five. If it's 30 questions like this, you have 10 minutes to complete the test. Draw a line around the number or letter of this sentence. Easy enough. Draw a line under the last word in this line. Easy enough again. Cross out the longest word in this line. Easy enough again. So far, they're reasonably easy. You could you'd have probably used up a, a minute or two. Of course, it does depend on your own level of literacy to start with. And many black people in that era didn't exactly have great literacy. Draw a line around the shortest word in this line. Circle the first, first letter of the alphabet in this line. I love that. Circle the first, first letter. I think saying it once would have been uh, enough. In the space below, th draw three circles, one inside engulfed by the others. Time wasting, basically. Drawing the circles takes time. Above the letter X makes a small cross. Question 8. Draw a line through the letter below that comes the earliest in the alphabet. Again, waste time. Not a particularly hard task, but it takes you a few seconds to figure out where it is. Draw a line through the two letters below that come last in the alphabet. In the first circle below, write the last letter of the first word beginning with L. Cross out the number necessary when making the number below one million. Draw a line from circle two to circle five that will pass below circle two and above circle four. In the line below, cross out each number that is more than 20 but less than 30. Again, not hugely difficult, but you need time to think about it and read the line. And you've got 10 minutes, remember, to do this. Draw a line under the letter, first letter after H, and draw a line through the le second letter after J. In the space below, write the word noise backwards and place over a dot over what would be its second letter, should it have been written forward. Number 16. Draw a triangle with a blackened circle that overlaps only its left corner. And now they start to get remarkably silly, these questions. Look at the line of numbers below and place on the blank the number that should have come next. Look at the line of numbers below and place on the blank the number that should come next. Not too terrible, mind you, those two, but drawing the now we get really silly, though. Draw in the space below a square with a triangle in it, and within that same circle, draw a circle with a black dot in it. Time wasting. You've got ten minutes, and that's going to use a fair bit of that. Spell backwards, forwards. 21. Print the word vote upside down, but in the correct order. Place a cross over the tenth letter in this line, a line under the first space in this sentence, and circle around the last line in the second line of this sentence. Draw a figure that is shape in square in shape, divide it in half by drawing a straight line from its northeast corner to its southwest corner. And then divide it once more by drawing a broken line from the middle of its western side to the middle of its eastern side. Even reading those instructions and processing them will take some time. 24. Print a word that looks the same whether it is printed forward, frontward or backwards. Again, time. Write down on the list provided what you read in the triangle below. Paris in the, in the, the, the spring. In the third square below, write the second letter of the fourth word. Right, right, right from the left to the right as you see it spelled here. 
28 divide a vertical line in tw two equal parts by bisecting it with a curved horizontal line that is only straight as its spot section of the vice vertical. 29. Write every other word in this first line and print every third word in the same line. Original type smaller and first line and comma, but capitalize the fifth word that you write. And the final one, draw f five circles that one in common into lock it and part. And that's 10 minutes to do that. Let's be honest, that was designed to stop people voting. The questions are <laughs> idiotic and in many cases take time to pass the line and the meaning and to work out what's actually asked of you. They're deliberately phrased in a way to be confusing and awkward. And you certainly cannot complete this test within 10 minutes, really, unless you either know the answers already or are extraordinarily fast at processing information like that. I'm going to give some links about the Jim Crow era as well, but this strikes me as a deliberate way to humiliate and remove people from, from voting. <laughs>